Hey YouTube, it's your girl Davina Love, back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing my busy bees? Staying busy, I hope. Mm -hmm. Keeping a sexy child. We try to, always. And I wanted to try something I saw on TikTok. I even jazzed it up a little bit more, but it was a Beetlejuice inspired look. I used multi-chromes in the look and watercolor activated paint. So I figured I would show you guys what I did. So my eyes primed, it's moisturized because I want to make sure I can rinse off this watercolor paint. So to start, I'm going to use a very, very small brush and I'm going to go into my multi-chrome from Concrete Minerals. It's a purple one. And I'm going to put that in the first one third of the eye. And I'm going to stamp it on at an angle. So it's giving me that lifted look. Now I'm going to use a turquoise color, build it up and blend it out on the last one third of the eye, or half of the eye. And I'm going to swing it out high enough. Alright, now that we've done that, we're going to work on above and the brow. And we're going to blend out with this orange called Game Changer from the Ipsy slash Tetris palette. We're going to use that all from this part up to blend out and make it all seamless and cute, I guess. But I figured the orange would be a nice addition to the green that would happen next. Alright, now it's time to bust out the watercolor palette from You Can Be. And we're going to put white all over the lid along with the black stripe. Okay, the way I'm putting it on is I'm just using a really big flat brush and I'm stamping it all the way down in small sections and I'm using my little hand fan to dry it. Now with the little flat brush I'm going to use the black wet watercolor paint and stamp it straight on the thin lines for the stripes. Everybody knows about the classic Beatles Street stripes, right? And you'll have to go back and forth and fill it in with the white because you go a little over. Okay, so now that I have the lines striped out, and they're kind of messy because, you know, Pixie's outfit, I'm going to use the green and I'm going to line underneath it. Okay, now with whatever remaining black I have, I'm going to make a wing liner on my lid. Which I probably have to, yeah, I will have to wet it again. And this is just going to anchor the black eyeliner that I'm going to put on top of it to do the wing underneath my lashes. Sorry for all the concentration breaks, but I have to really pay attention to what I'm doing. Or I feel like I'll mess up. So while it's drying and almost completely dried, the green while the black is still wet and the green is dried, we're gonna take our lash glue and some of these fun green and purple ovals and make a line within the green liner. Give it a little bit of that glitter from the beetle juice, right? And I'm just gonna use some duo clear. And I'm going to just start from the outside and work on a small patch at a time. Because it can get a little outrageous because the, um, the watercolors are still a little damp. I'm going to pause you because I don't want to copyright from the troll movie my granddaughter's watching. And I'm going to add the lashes, finish my face, and show you the final look. Alright, there we go. I add the little bat accents of, of them right here in the yellow because it seems like that would be the time they would swirl around. <laughs> and I just did a new lip and light contour just so that the eyes keep it centered on them. So this is my Beetlejuice inspired look. I hope you like it. I really like it. It's really pretty. And don't mind this camera. I had to switch to a different camera uh, or phone because... My other one was corrupted, and it was just giving me so many problems, so just temporarily we'll be working with this uh, camera I have right here. 
but I hope you like this. It's been part of my 13 days of Halloween. You know, we got 13 whole days. But, um, since it's spooky season, I'm like, why not? Why not give you guys a little update on the camera and create this Beetlejuice-inspired look? Thank you so much for spending time with me. You know, I appreciate it. I really, really do. And if you're new here, hey, I'm your girl, Davina. And I love everything about anything and everything in between. And if you're into that, please join the hive. We will be glad to have you. And if you are not new here, hey, sis, you're looking good. Keep your head up. And I will see you all next time. I love you so, so much. Bye.